I'm going to show you how you can add colored layers to an image that you downloaded from the internet and then uploaded to Cricut Design Space. First off, I just did a video about how to download, upload, and clean up an image. I will link that to this video um, so that you can find that. But let's just go on with the steps for adding the colored layers. I'm going to go into my images and find the image that I downloaded and cleaned up. And then I'm going to insert that into Cricut Design Space. I am going to move my little logo over here so we can play over here. There we go. All right. So there's the image. This would cut out the black part. If we look at our layers panel, we can see right here, it says cat in the hat and it's a cut line, um, line type. So what I'm going to do, because this image will have a black layer, a white layer and a red layer. So I am going to go into actions and hit duplicate twice because I need one layer for each color. Now, Let's start with this one. I'm going to go into edit and click over here for the um, line type and change the color for this one to white and apply. And now I'm going to do that for this one and change it to red and apply. So now we have three layers, separate colors, and um, now we're going to contour these layers to look how we want them to. So for example, on this white one, we don't want it to cut a white outline. We want it to cut the center sections. So if I go under my actions, I can hit hide contour. Now watch over here on this canvas image. Whoops, I made it go away. While I click over here, if I click on that further outline, see how the outline went away and now I'm cutting the center pieces. So I would want to get rid of this top part because that stripe is red. Then I get rid of this stripe because that one's gonna be red. And then get rid of that portion because that one's red. Um, now I have to get rid of the stuff inside of those stripes. So I'm going to zoom in and click on those. And it's kind of fun how you can watch the image over here and watch it change as you click things away. Um, I'm not going to lie. Some of these are hard to get in here and click on. I personally find this whole process easier on um, my computer, but people want to know how to do it on the iPad. So that's why I'm doing this. And while you're clicking, you might accidentally click something that you wanted off. So then you just play with it. Um, I think with that one off yep and I'm gonna click over here okay so now oh shoot I I changed the sides which I did not want to do so I just used my undo button to go backwards okay so now I'm gonna zoom out so this black one I'm gonna use hide contour and I am actually going to make the whole thing black. Um, I'll show you why. Gotta get all of those little guys. Yeah, this is going to take some patience. I'm going to get all the little guys first. Come here. There we go. Oh, shoot, wrong one. There. Yeah. 
See, it's hard because my fingers sometimes will touch the wrong part. So I never said this was going to be easy peasy. I'm just saying it's possible. Oh, come on, you little guy. I want you off. Well, it like turned. <laughs> Oh, there I got him. It's, okay, so now I have a whole black piece. Well, now if I take this white piece and bring it over on top, boom, it just layers right over the top. Pretty nice, huh? So now I'm going to take this red one and hide contours and... Okay, so the red is the first one, so we want to turn off these. And then this. Okay, here's the crappy part. You can't see what I'm doing because it's over there. <laughs> okay, so we're almost there. Um, hide contour. And... Oops, I hit the wrong thing. But that's okay. We can just unclick it. The, bottom, the hat's, that one's supposed to be white. There we go. That looks better. Okay. So, now you can see that I still need to turn off that red. I contour. There we go. All right, so now we have a white piece. So if we cut this out of black vinyl, we're gonna have a solid black piece. I like working with a solid piece because then when I layer my pieces over the top, if my black first layer shrinks at all, I don't have any gaps between my colors. Um, so now the next thing I would do would press be press on the white layer because then I can gauge where that fits on the black for this brim of the hat. And then personally, I would do the red layer last because then you can space it between the whites. Boom. So now that's your full image. So if I go to layers, you can see I have a cat in the hat. There's a red layer, a white layer, and a black layer. Now, when I, if I were to click the make it, it would divide these into layers and cut the red, white, and black all on a separate layer. Now, let's say you do all this designing and you're like, that's not the size I want the hat to be. I can do a big window around this, select everything, and hit the group button and now I can resize it all together. So I hope that helped you to understand how to find an image on the internet that you downloaded, clean it up in design space, and then use duplicate and contour to make multiple colored layers and then layer that image together for your cutting. Make sure you subscribe because I have a whole bunch more Cricut Design Space for the iPad videos planned and you don't want to miss them.